Well, good morning. Welcome to Debbie's Back Porch. So glad to have you with us. I thought this morning would be a good morning to turn this, my six-year-old Lodge cast iron enameled Dutch oven, into this, my six-year-old Lodge cast iron enameled Dutch oven. I actually do this to all my enameled cast iron about once a month because they get to looking pretty bad even if you take really good care of them and I'm able to do this with no special uh, cleaners and no special equipment and I thought some of you might like to see it so here we go I started with this one this one is KitchenAid enameled cast iron this pot is well, I tried to add it up, and I think it's 12 years old, but it could be 14. My memory's not too clear on it. I've had it a long time. And this is the inside, too. And this one I've done my regular monthly cleaning of. I didn't show it to you before. I didn't think about it. But I'm going to show you uh, the same process with this. This is a Lodge 5-quart Dutch oven, enameled, cast iron, red, and red fades worse than any other color as far as I can tell. This one is only 6 years old, uh, but it's been used a lot. If you watch my videos, you've most undoubtedly seen this cast iron pot. Now, believe it or not, this pot is clean as a whistle. Uh, it's just faded. And I'm going to treat it with grapeseed oil. I've tried expensive cleaners. I've tried all kinds of things. I have a paper towel and a clean, soft microfiber cloth. And we're going to restore this and make it look almost new. I'm going to adjust the camera here so you can get a better angle. Uh, and I'll show you when I start. It looks dirty. It's not dirty. It's clean as it can be. And in a minute, I'll talk to you about how I keep the inside of these clean. But I'm just going to put a little oil. You can use olive oil. I just always use grapeseed oil because that's the main vegetable oil I use. I have used lard, but it, it's this is not the same as your regular cast iron. You're not going to season this on. You're not going to heat it. So the smoke point doesn't matter. You just want a good quality oil. See, it's clean. There's nothing on that except oil. Uh, but they really start looking, or in my experience, from every manufacturer I've tried, every color, they eventually get streaked looking and they start to look faded. So I'm just going to rub this oil in all the way around. Now before you say something about using paper towels, uh, these are particularly lint-free paper towels. They're Viva. That's the only kind I buy. If I have to get something else, I wouldn't use it because these don't leave a lot of lint behind. Um, but if you don't want to use paper towels, you can just have another uh, lint-free cloth. I like to use microfiber cloths. So I'm going to rub this in, and I'm not going to get in any hurry. I want to make sure it's in every little uh, crook and cranny and oil it fairly generously. You don't want it running off, but generously. And I don't remember how I started doing this. I was really getting upset about how this this particular pot, but the other ones also, uh, were looking. And I tried uh, Le Creuset cleaner and conditioner, things that you could buy, and nothing helped. If it did help, it didn't help much. And I finally just thought, you know, hey, this is cast iron. I was doing a regular cast iron pan. And I thought, well, I wonder what treating this with oil would do. And I tried it, and I was very happy. And, of course, this pan is about six years old. And eventually this is not going to perk it up anymore, I'm sure. Did you see the inside of this pan? This is six years old. That looks new, doesn't it? And I'll, I'll tell you what I do. Every time I cook in one of my cast iron enameled Dutch ovens, if they have a white inside, I wash it and then I do a quick spray with bleach cleaner or a little bit of bleach in water, whichever one. I let it sit for just a few minutes and then I wash it out. And it doesn't get all dark and ugly. Um, and the bleach washes right out. 
So I'm going to oil the inside of it too. Now I've seen folks do the inside with a mixture of hydrogen peroxide and baking soda. I know some folks swear by Barkeeper's Friend. I just don't buy any extra cleaners for this. Bleach and vinegar are my two number one cleaners and that's what I use for everything. So there you go. This has been oiled thoroughly. Every nook, cranny, crease. I'm going to go through just to make sure I've got it. And then I'm going to walk away and just let it sit here for about 30 minutes or so. Or an hour or two hours. But 30 minutes this morning. We'll be back. So after I let it sit for a little bit and the oil soaks in, I'm going to give this a good buffing with this microfiber cloth. Just go all over it and wipe off any excess oil. Rub it in a little bit. And I check for little chinks and cracks and stuff as I do this. You know, because I have to confess, I'm actually pretty tough on cookware. It's one reason almost all of my cookware is cast iron. If I have something I have to baby, uh, I'm, I'm just not going to use it. I'll, I'll ruin it in a couple years and throw it away. Uh, but I have cast iron skillets that are 50, 60, 70 years old. I have one that's well over 100. Um, I think 117 years old. So I can't blame the pan for not looking new after six years because it's really been used hard. But look at it now. This looks pretty good. I'm going to wash it in hot soapy water. But first, let's don't forget the lid. I mean, it's the same age, and it needs the same treatment. It's just an awful lot quicker to do. Just going to rub this on, and then I'll polish it off. And then I'll show you a comparison to a brand new one. So the lid is all ready to wash. Let me show you this other one I have here that was just bought recently. Compare those. What do you think? I'm hearing my little Athena in the background as we work. Now we're going to wash them. So before I put them away, I wash them in hot soapy water and then dry them down and buff them just a little bit. Now I don't take this time every time I wash my cast iron pans. I do this maybe once a month. I don't do all of them because some of them I barely use three or four times a year. This one gets done pretty often because it's my favorite pot and I use it the most. And it's red, you know, I love red pots, don't you? So I'm going to dry the inside out really well. And see, we've still got that almost new look inside this pot. Don't tell me about bleach being bad. It really isn't. Do some research. It's the only disinfectant approved for use in organic food preparation facilities. It washes right away. It dissolves. Leaves no residue. So there you go. Here's my nice pot. She's smiling and happy again. And all ready for our next video. When I hope to see you again tomorrow. Oh yes, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And click the little bell icon so you'll get notified when I post new videos about twice a week.